Hello, Dragon Artists. Today we are going to create an artwork based on my favorite thing to draw and paint, Jeju. Um, over spring break, I had the opportunity to do a lot of different paintings and I painted two scenes of Jeju that I wanted to share with you. One of them is, you guys probably recognize it, it is Sang Bang Sang, and it's got the beautiful canola flowers which are blooming right now. And then the other one I'm still not completely finished with. This is one of the cliffs outside of the Andok Valley just on the south side of the island, and I've still got to add my canola flowers down here. Um, I love the beautiful cliffs that, uh, that cascade down and the basalt volcanic rocks too. So those are really fun to paint. And today's artwork is going to be all about Jeju. So you're, today you're gonna need a pencil, white paper, and a black marker. And we'll be doing our Alright friends, so today we're going to start off with our white paper in a horizontal or landscape position. Now I'm going to draw with a black marker just because it's a little bit easier for you to see, but I encourage you to start off with pencil and you can go back and outline uh, a little bit later. The first thing that we're going to begin our drawing with is going to be um, our grandfather statue. Now, you can choose to put your statue on either side. Uh, I would suggest starting with the hat, and you're going to want it to be about two fingers width, and it's going to be a rainbow or upside down U. Now, draw a small line to connect the bottom of your rainbow, and a, just right below that, that's going to be the rim of your hat. In the center, Draw two small lines, and those will be your eyes. Now the eyes for the grandfather statue are rather big and bold. That's what they are, uh, makes them easy to recognize. Now you can change your eyes here. I'm doing more of a realistic uh, type drawing, but if you wanted to have a kind of Google eye or character eye or draw your own face in the grandfather statue, that would be really cool. Um, As you draw your face line down and around, you'll notice that you had a rainbow on the top for his hat and a U on the bottom for his face, and they are about the same size. His ears on both sides start at the top of his eyes and go down to the top of his mouth. And here I'm connecting his hat by drawing a curved line around and bringing both of those lines around to create some depth. Now that I've got that awesome face captured, I'm going to draw the bottom part of the statue. Give this guy something to stand on. I'm drawing it rather large, so that way I have the opportunity to write something inside. Um, but again, he doesn't have to stand on this type of block, maybe standing on a skateboard or a surfboard or on top of a rainbow. Now I'm going to go a little bit backwards, uh, but I'm gonna start off with his hands. And his hands are gonna go on both sides and I'm gonna draw him with four or five fingers. I didn't. I don't know why one hand has four fingers, the other one has five. I didn't really realize it till right there, but again, it's your own photo. Four or five fingers are optional. And those are just ovals stacked on top of each other. You can connect his hand by drawing one large oval and then two small lines on the outside. That's gonna be his arm. That's his arm going back there. Most of them are parallel, so that means they're standing right on top of each other. Now these are going to be where his belly is. So that's the base of his body there. And it comes down from his head to meet his hands. And then I'm going to draw his arms now and I'm going to connect them together with a curve on the side. Now maybe your Jeju statue is waving, or maybe he's holding a rainbow, or 
Uh, he's got a, a Jeju Tangerine in his hand, or maybe he's holding a Holobong. That's all up to you. Feel free to change this as much as you want to. Now I'm going to draw the ground that is there. And uh, that will go back to add some of those details later. Now here is the ocean water. Now I decided to do just a simple wavy line, but if you wanted to do a, a swirly line or a zigzag line, that's up to you. Design and style your picture however you like. Adding a little bit of motion lines inside the water. So this is gonna be the water part that will go back. I'm gonna go back later to color blue and underneath that is going to be a grassy area. Ooh, I have just activated turbo speed, but remember friends that you can pause it at any time. Now I'm going to draw the mountain of Sunrise Peak. I'm gonna start with just a slight U and then bring the sides of my mountain down and then add the uh, volcanic rock right next to it and even add some of the smaller rocks in front of it. Now this is one of the fun parts is drawing the uh, steep cliffs going down. Imagine that your pen is just running right along that mountain. Now across the top, it might look like I'm adding snow, but I'm just adding a little bit of some of the lush green trees that we see on Jeju. Now I've decided to add a sun on my picture, but you can add anything you want to. Maybe you're adding a rain cloud, or maybe you're adding a moon, or maybe there's a UFO flying through there. This is your Jeju scene, so feel free to change it up. The same rules apply in the art classroom as they do in the virtual art classroom. No weapons, nothing violent, nothing gross, and no poop. All right, I added a swirl inside my sun, and then I'm gonna add some big fluffy cumulus clouds. And one more over here to the side, just a happy little cloud floating through the air. It's a beautiful sunshiny day. And I'm going to add some small flowers down at the bottom. I think these are gonna be canola flowers. Uh, you see beautiful wildflowers always uh, at this time of year in Jeju. Down at the bottom, don't feel as though you have to add flowers. If you wanted to add some of the Zen tangles that we've been using, um, a type of pattern, or maybe you wanna draw a picture of your family there, that's also okay too. Now I'm just adding some small grass lines. I'm going to hit the turbo speed button and get us sped up again. <laughs> Alright, as I'm getting close to finishing my project, I've decided to write the word Jeju right uh, on top of my statue. But you can choose to write any words that you want, or maybe your picture doesn't have uh, the words, any words at all. After this, I'm going to add some color, baby color. I am excited to see your beautiful sunrise peak on Jeju. And I uh, don't forget to upload your artwork to your Seesaw account and email me if you have any questions. <laughs> 